In the fall of 1996, Whitney Black joined coach Candace Schramm's volleyball squad in Candace's 11th season at the helm. Black was one of eight freshmen recruited to return the program to their earlier successful years from 1987 to 1993, where the program averaged 26 wins a season for seven years. Learning from team most valuable player Joey Cody, who threw down 225 kills, Whitney looked to hone her skills as a middle hitter. Taking assists from Tori Dorshug and Brandy Wilson, Black finished her first collegiate season second on the team with 171 kills, averaging 1.6 kills over 108 sets played. Her six-foot frame was also valuable on defense as she led the Scots with 96 total blocks and 37 solo returns. Her athleticism when not blocking allowed her to return 156 digs as a freshman. Black's development helped Maribel College to a 13-17 and mark to conclude her inaugural season. Her sophomore campaign featured the return of setting duo Dorshug and Wilson, who continued to find Black and newcomer Kelly DeBold for explosive kills at the net. DeBold deposited 264 kills, while Whitney threw down 244 kills with the highest attack percentage on the team. In 120 sets played, over a 15 and 18 season, Black averaged a pair of kills per set while also excelling on defense. She returned 168 digs while leading the squad with 86 total blocks, 39 coming as solo stops. The fall of 1998, Whitney's junior season, saw this talented hitter play alongside fellow Maribel College Wall of Famer, Jennifer McLemore and Angel Daniel. Daniel deposited 259 kills with smooth feeds from key setter Casey Ellen. Ellen's favorite target was Black, who connected for 302 kills in 109 sets for a 2.77 kills per set average. Whitney's kill per set average increased each year she took the court. On defense, Whitney returned 162 kills while pacing the 18 and 15 Scots once again with 31 solo blocks. Whitney's senior season in 1999-2000 set the standard for which Maryville College is known for today. Black and her teammates posted a 20 and 13 record, beginning a string of eight consecutive 20 plus win seasons for the program. A pair of 18 kill efforts against the University of Dallas and Averett. A 19 kill performance at Lynchburg. An amazing 21 kill effort at center and a career-best 22-kill match against Greensboro highlighted Whitney's final season at Maryville College. She led the Volley Scots with an amazing 330 kills for her best total in four seasons. On defense, the duo of Black and Leah Ford collectively returned 203 blocks, with Whitney recording 56 solo blocks. Her favorite event as a Maryville College senior was the team's trip to Colorado Springs, Colorado for the Colorado College Spike It Up Classic. The talented attacker earned GTE South Region Academic All-American Honors to conclude her stellar career on the court. During her four seasons on the court, Whitney helped Maryville College to a 66-63 overall record while competing as an independent within the NCAA Division III. In 460 career sets played, she threw down 1,047 kills on offense while returning 520 career digs and stopping 342 career attacks with blocks, including 163 solo blocks. At the conclusion of her time at Maryville College, she was one of six outstanding seniors to be named the recipient of the J.D. Davis Award from the Maryville College athletic staff. Her father, Joe Black, was inducted into the Maryville College Wall of Fame in 2007. The duo are the first father and daughter to earn such distinction from the college. Upon graduation, Whitney entered medical school at East Tennessee State University, graduating as an MD in 2000. She completed her residency in pediatrics at Greenville Hospital Systems in Greenville, South Carolina, before moving to work at Maryville Pediatric Group. Whitney met her husband Johnny in medical school, and they were married in 2002. They have four children, Caitlin, Ephraim, Kelsey, and Devin. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Help me welcome one of the most complete student athletes to ever develop within the Scots Volleyball program. Help me welcome Whitney Black D to the Maryland College Wall of Fame.